Hi, I'm Lucas. And my name is Luke. And we are doing high pass and low pass filters. So what we're going to be demonstrating today is high and low pass filters. And what those actually are is, for example, if you were to play a music through a low pass filter, it would amplify the more bassy low tones. And if you were to play music through a high pass circuit, it would actually magnify the higher tones, giving it more of like a twangy sound, if you call it that. We're also going to be measuring the phase difference between our input and our output and through our circuit. So let's dive right into it. Here we have our low pass filter. It has a AC voltage source with 470 ohm resistor and a one microfarad capacitor. What we did is we calculated our X sub C given our omega of 0.9 times 10 to the 3 hertz. And we calculated our V out to be negative 3.94 J volts. It gave us a gain of 2.364 J. Our phase is 90 degrees with V in leading V out. To get our oscilloscope to display both frequencies, V in and V out, together, we had to put in a 30 ohm resistor, which is relatively low compared to our, our resistance and impedance, our main circuit, in order to get a DC feedback so we could view these uh, together. Here we have our high pass filter, which is exactly the same as our low pass, except we swapped the resistor with the capacitor in the circuit. So we have our current at 1.5J milliamps and our V out, which would be the voltage across our resistor, is 0.705J volts. So here's our circuit that we built in LT Spice, and there's a couple key differences to how it normally would react if we were doing a DC circuit. Here is where we distinguish to an AC circuit. and it's putting in an AC amplitude into the voltage source. We have a resistor at 470 ohms and our capacitor with our op amp in the middle and then our positive and negative 15 voltage supplies powering the op amp. So if we were to run this guy, we find that the solid green line is gonna be our magnitude and our dotted green line is gonna be the phase. We find that the phase up here is 89.99 degrees, so 90 degrees. And this we ended up calculating out in our pen and paper example. And as you can see, as we drag this magnitude up and down, the phase is always gonna stay at 90 degrees. So the last thing to do is to test this out in the real world, hook it up to an oscilloscope, and see what we get for a phase. All right, so here we have a inverting hop amp setup with low pass. So what it is, we have a circuit where we have our resistor and a capacitor and an op amp. And what it will do is it's gonna amplify the lower tones and the lower frequencies. When we connect our speaker to V in, it'll play the no music normally, and when we connect it to V out, it'll amplify the lower tones, so you'll hear a bassier sound. Here we have a quick demonstration of the low pass. You can see as we touch the wire to the output on the capacitor, we get those more bassy tones, like you're almost outside of a concert. Here we have our high pass circuit. What we did is we flipped the capacitor and the resistor around in the circuit, and what it's gonna do, instead of amplifying the low tones, it's going to amplify the higher tones. So it's gonna be a really high pitch, kind of like tinny sound. So we wanted to pick a song that had a lot of bass in it so we can show that it basically is non-existent when we do a high pass. So this is the music normally. And this is it on our output. Now also notice that the volume was significantly magnified compared to our regular normal input over here. And this is because we do get a gain across the resistor and the capacitor. So here we set up the oscilloscope so we can measure the phase difference between our V in and our V out. Here we're measuring a phase of 90 degrees, which is what we calculated and expected from our predictions. 
<laughs> we were having a hard time measuring the phase difference between V in and V out. So what we did is we added a resistor across the inverting input and V out. What this does is it allows us to get a DC feedback in order to get an accurate measurement of the phase on the oscilloscope. This resistor is low resistance, and so it's not gonna affect the gain. It's not gonna have a large impact on the gain, but what it's gonna do is allow a DC feedback to feed through to the oscilloscope, so that way we are able to measure the phase. Here we have our oscilloscope, and V in is right here, leading V out by 90 degrees. So, the results are coinciding with what we predicted.